Last year, this team was 9-3 and, and upset its way from the number 7 seed all the way to the North 1 Group 4 final. With nearly the entire team returning, this team is thinking of a return to glory by running the table and winning a state title. Welcome to this episode of Where in North Jersey is Rich Barton, preseason edition. Today we're here at Wayne Hills High School checking out the football team. Last year they went 9-3 and in advance to the North 1 Group 4 state title game. Today we'll be talking to head coach Wayne Demikoff, quarterback Brendan Devera, and running back Luca Grave about the upcoming season. Last season Wayne Hills went 9-3 and in advance to the North 1 Group 4 state final. They lose two-way standout Joey Kenny to graduation. Quarterback Brendan Devera led a high-powered offensive attack. Wayne Hills was one of the top offenses in North Jersey in 2015, and this year, nearly everybody returns for head coach Wayne Demikoff. You don't replace a guy like Joe Kenny with another guy. I mean, we, we would love to, but those guys just don't grow on trees. Uh, you know, we got a lot of a lot of parts that are going to have to pick up the slack on both offense and defense. It's it's still football. That the offensive line has got to step up and play tough and, and grind it out and you know, open holes for Luca and pass protect for Brendan so we can get the ball in the skilled kids' hands. Uh, obviously, those kids on the outside, we got Tyler Hayek, Hunter Hayek, we, we've got some pieces. It's just now a matter of getting that toughness, getting that continuity with the offensive line, and hopefully uh, being able to put some points up. Coming into the season, that was our biggest uh, you know, weak side was definitely the line. You know, we had all these skill guys coming in. We knew we were going to be good in that portion. Um, you know, we just made two changes yesterday. Um, our fullback, Tar Castello, just recently got moved to guard, and our uh, um, other tight end, Mike Zacone, just got moved to center. Um, you know, the practice was totally different. The atmosphere yesterday, the pads were hitting louder. Uh, I think that's going to be a big help. You know, our right, our right tackle, Bensi, sophomore, Bensi Polgar, he's has to step up. He's a big kid. Uh, we're looking for him to do really good. Um, and our two returning uh, guys from last year, Jason Modak and John Stadler. So definitely the line, you know, they have to step up this year because that's going to be our, that's going to be the make or, make or win of the season. I'm definitely excited that we can move the ball around the field a lot more this year with uh, Tyler, Hunter Hayek, and Evidence, and Brendan can run as well, so we're definitely excited for offense this year. Coach is like, they're always on me, you know, saying that I have to be controlled when I come back on offense because now I get a little hyped on defense, and, uh, you know, I like I always like linebacker. I played safety last year, you know, I just like hitting. I was always down in the box. Um, you know, it's going to be a transition, but I think I can make it pretty good. I think we definitely have a lot of experience on defense with our D-line. Jason Modak's great defensive end. Brendan's playing linebacker this year. It's going to be huge for us, and our secondary should be locked down this year. The Patriots schedule is very top heavy this season. They go down to Florida and open up against Pahokee before hosting Ramapo. After a tough game against Morris County Power Roxbury, they face a rematch of the North 1 Group 4 State Final when they take on Old Tapan. You know, we run a college prep football program here. That's what we tell the kids. That's what we want to give them, that type of uh, experience to get them ready for college. And what better way than to travel somewhere to play a team, you know, some, a place like Florida. We heard it was, you know, it was going to be hot, great tradition down there, tough, and that's just all right by us. So we're, we're excited about going down there. Mother Nature is a Wayne Hills football fan, giving us all this humidity to, to get us ready for it. So, you know, we're in the grind right now. We hope it's going to pay off when we go and hit Florida. Well, we're trying to take that as a, a blessing, kind of have such a tough schedule. It'll really show us a lot about ourselves and who we are as a team. So if we can get past the first part of the schedule, I think we'll be good. You know, all these newspaper write-ups and, you know, Luca, Evidence, Tyler, Hunter, you know, all of our guys, you know, saying how good we are. And, you know, if this season comes to an end, like, sure, you know, it's going to be definitely like a big letdown for a lot of people. A lot of people are going to be saying stuff. Um, you know, it puts pressure on us, but, you know, I think we just we do a good job of uh, zoning it out and tuning it out and just staying true to who we are and just working as a team. Our goal is to just make it back to the state championship and finish the job. After further review... Wayne Hills has its toughest two games to start the year, going down to Florida to face Power Pahokee before coming back up north with a home game against Ramapo. I feel they're going to split those two games and run the table all the way to the North 1 Group 4 State Final where they win it all. Well, that wraps things up here at Wayne Hills High School. Log on to NorthJerseySports.com to find out where I'll be next.
All guests on today's episode receive $5 of Moe's Bucks from Moe's Southwest Grill in Pompton Plains. Be one of the first three people to retweet this episode to get $5 of Moe's Bucks yourself. Thank <laughs> you.